In this video, you're going to learn how to easily create a website using a free software called WordPress that has truly changed the way that websites are made. Now here's the beautiful thing if you're an online marketer or someone with a website or blog that you want to promote. In the past, in order to create a website, you had to learn how to code, how to program HTML, PHP, or whatever in order to get your website up on the page. Or you had to hire a designer or programmer and possibly spend thousands of dollars or more getting them to design a template because you had to have one original site made every time you needed one. Instead of, as you'll see with WordPress, someone creates a site or a theme or a design that you upload and use it already. It's, it ends up being much cheaper for you and much easier. The third option in the past too was using front page which is a very old program for making websites or some kind of do-it-yourself software which I'll be honest they often look cheap and less attractive than something that is more professionally done. A WordPress website on the other hand is such a better solution because you can install it in 15 minutes. Once you have your domain name and your hosting account, the two of those are linked, then you can just log into your hosting account and install WordPress very simply and easily. And it's free or very inexpensive to have a WordPress website. These designers will create beautiful website designs, meaning the layout, what goes where, even pictures, choosing fonts, etc. Have it all done for you. You just download that file for free upload it to your hosting. Or for a really good looking one, you can pay a couple dozen dollars, hundred dollars at the most, and get some really good looking designs. So a lot of these designs are already made, you just choose the one that works for you and install it without having to have any programming knowledge of your own. So now we're going to run you through the three steps to easily create a website with WordPress. Step number one is to choose the right theme. The next step is to install it and the last step is to install the particular theme that you want to use. So choosing a theme is step number one or choosing a design that someone has already made that's going to accomplish what you want to accomplish on your own website or blog. Here's what to look for in the different themes that you're choosing from among. The first step is to have a beautiful and professional design. One that does not look like it was made by someone's teenager or by someone using an older software uh, but something that really catches your eye and looks crisp, clean, and modern. The second thing to look for is how functional is it? How much is it going to do what you need it to do? If you want to blog, then it has got to be a blog theme, meaning a header at the top, a sidebar on the left or right side, and columns in the inside for blogging that would look very good for what you're trying to do. If you want to use your website as a squeeze page, or have squeeze pages on your website, then your design has got to allow you to easily create those pages as well. It's got to be flexible as well. Can you make changes to it? What if you want that sidebar to be wider? What if you want to change the font that you use? What if you want to use some ready-made squeeze page templates? Well, it's got to be flexible enough to accomplish those things if that's what you need. And the last thing to look for is the unique widgets and features that come with each of them. You'll see a description with each theme of what comes with it. Certain little extra things you can use like calendars, pop-ups, uh, all kinds of things out there. You're going to learn more about WordPress plugins in the next video that we come out with. So bottom line is look at the widgets and features that come with each theme and compare them to each other. Now here are some places to find fantastic themes. The first one is WordPress's own theme directory. Google that, you'll go straight to the page and these are all free themes that other WordPress users have created. Now. My favorite is ThemeForest.net. This is where you can find some free or very inexpensive themes that look very attractive. Some of them are very popular and can accomplish everything you want for only 10, 20, 30 bucks each. Now, some other up and coming ones are MojoThemes.com and CreativeMarket.com. Mojo Themes is low price as well. Think of it as Walmart. Uh, Creative Market is more like Target little more upscale and designer you will pay a little bit more but still less expensive the next step is to install the WordPress software itself so that you'll have the ability to upload your theme to your hosting account and make it visible to anyone who comes to your website fortunately WordPress has created a tutorial for you at this URL here in the screen right now 
where you can follow the steps and have a WordPress software installation done in five minutes. You have to have your domain and hosting first, but that's a way to do it yourself very quickly. And if those instructions are still too complicated, then try Fiverr.com and someone can do it for you there for $5. That's F-I-V-E-R-R.com. The last step is installing and uploading the theme itself that you choose in order for your site to appear the way you want it. Now, in order to do this, log into the WordPress site that you just installed. When you finish installing, it'll give you a URL to click on where you can log in, a username, password. In the left sidebar here in black, you're going to see something called Appearance. Click on that, you'll see a screen just like this one. It'll show you any themes that you have already uploaded. So you can choose from among several if you want to change the way your site looks over time. If you are doing this for the first time, click the Upload button, select the theme that you want, and then your site is going to look the way that you need. And it might take additional customizing after this. If that's the case, then hire a programmer off of Fiverr, Odesk, or scriptlance.com to make those final changes for you. So with that said, your website is now up and able to receive the visitors that you generate as a result of each of the different marketing methods you're doing to get people coming to your website. And that is the making money online game in a nutshell. Have a site that gets people to subscribe and make sales, do various lead generation activities to get them coming to that site in the first place, and if you want to find out more ways to do this and make more money online, then click the subscribe button now in order to see our new videos that we produce like this one as they come out.